Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Rune. So today we'll be doing Let's Talk Legendary, but we'll be doing the complete history on Sarah, the legendary planeswalker. Sarah is actually a human planeswalker, not an angel like most people would assume. Sarah had an affinity for such creatures as angels. We don't know where she was born or where she came from, but we do know that she was a very powerful planeswalker and she was able to create her own plane known as Sarah's Realm. On Dominaria, there was a church actually called the Church of Sarah, which was created a whole religion around her. When Zanchia, the sleeper agent who came from a plane called Phyrexia, visited the plane Sarah's realm, according to Zanchia, Sarah looked like a plain woman who showed signs that she worked really hard. But believe it or not, Sarah first created angels on the plane of Dominaria thousands of years ago. Around this time, the Church of Sarah was created when the Shilton Empire was ruling at the time. The church was then located in Epitur. As you know, Sarah actually created a realm known as Sarah's Realm. This place was filled with human worshippers and angels that she created. The story of this can be found in what's known as the Song of All. But Sarah's Realm was actually destroyed by Urza inadvertently because he was injured battling the Phryxians and he went to this realm to heal. Where the Phryxians of course followed him and they battled many angels and followers. Because of this battle, they had left such a mark on the realm that their essence actually distracted Sarah and she couldn't stay in the realm any longer. But now, the Archangel Radiant guards the realm. With Sarah deciding to leave, she actually traveled one of many planes. When Sarah visited the plane of Olgrathenia, she found the love of her life with another planeswalker known as Faraz. Faraz was actually created something called the Faraz's Band as a sort of shield from the plane so that other planeswalkers don't enter the realm to bother them. While on Ogrothra, she actually spent time protecting the people from vampires and Baron Singer until Pharaoh's was accidentally killed. After his death, she went into the plain of Dominaria in the city of Circe. She was so heartbroken that she led her life as a refugee. She was actually killed by some mysterious planeswalker who was actually a thief. When the thief had hurt her, she could have actually saved herself, but she chose not to as she, the loss of Pharaoh's had really affected her. As she was dying, she used the last of her strength to renew the land around Circe. Brother Angus was the only one who was actually there and created what's known as the Cathedral of Sarah, which was built around her tomb. Angus was the one who managed to almost completely save Sarah from the thief. When Sarah actually had died, Radiant took over, but did not have such passion as Sarah. As a result of this, Radiant and her followers easily became corrupted by Phrixia, and thus a war began on Sarah's realm. And the last little bit of information we have on Sarah just right after her death was that her realm actually was collapsed by Urza, so Phyrexia did not take it over. Urza used the weatherlight and tried to save as many Sarah refugees before he did this. And that is actually all the information that is actually about Sarah. That's really crazy because there's a lot of cards about her, but not a lot of information. So Sarah is represented in this card from Modern Horizons, which I'm surprised it took this long to do. So it's Sarah the Bevel in it, would cost four mana for this four. It kind of ties in with that whole angel theme, right? Four mana for a four, four. Basically it says creatures control the fine, get plus one, plus one on the town to turn for that plus two, and then minus three, create a four, four angel creature token with flying and vigilance. And if minus six, if you get the damage, that would reduce your life total to less than one, reduces it to one instead. So this whole Sarah thing, really cool picture. I'm fi really glad they finally got this card out and just makes everything just tie in together. So we're gonna go over the many, many, many cards that Sarah is associated with. And the first one being from Mark Poole, this card is Cathedral of Sarah. So there is the picture, it's the Cathedral of Sarah. Can't get any more than that. It's a really cool picture, that's the card. Next card that she's associated with is Herald of Sarah. It costs Flying Echo, attacking does not cause the Herald to tap, but again, Herald of Sarah is from Sarah's Realm, and it's a Herald. It's, again, another card that's pretty self-explanatory. The next card we have is on Sarah's Wings. It does have that Canto, which is really cool, because there's uh, several Cantos throughout the entire Magic world, primarily in the Urza block. It says, The spirit of Sarah raised Burndy high and commanded her to keep the balance. Song Canto 524, and there are those the Wings. Next we have is Rainy Sarah Angel from the Commander series. Cost seven men for that six four, and well, Radiant is actually the angel that took over when Sarah was not around. It's another non-specific card. It says Sarah's blessing. Well, this card is obviously about Sarah's blessing. It says rise, and I will show you how 
to run without flagger, flight without raging, and fly without wings. So that's a really cool saying. I'm surprised it's not a canto, but uh, that's the way it is. Next card we have that she's associated with is, well, Sarah's Boon. So most of these cards are actually named after Sarah and quite literally does whatever it should in the storyline so everything just works out. Next card that Sarah's associated with as well is Sarah's Embrace. It says, Chandra Kirchner gets plus plus two, plus two, it has flying, and the touch of Sarah's angels bears hope aloft, uh, empowers noble causes. The next card Sarah is associated with is, well, Sarah's Emissary. That when swords fail, faith transcends. So it kind of almost looks like her, but that's the way it is. And another card that's pretty obvious is Sarah's Guardian. Well, she watches over the city just as Sarah watches over all Sarah's Guardian. So that's a pretty cool card in general. And another card that Sarah is associated with, well, it's pretty standard. Look in the picture, it's Sarah's him. And you got Sarah in the background with those two women hemming. So that's a really cool card itself. Next we have is Sarah's Liturgy. And basically, there's a more of the church glass thing in the background and the name and with the pictures in there. And my favorite card of all time is Sarah's Sanctum. Well, a fragile cocoon of Dreaming Well. This is basically Sarah's Realm. And I just absolutely love this picture. I love the card. I just... This is one of, uh, I'm going to keep saying it, my favorite card in all of magic. So it's hard to believe anything could be better. Next card she's associated with, well, is Sarah Advocate. An angel's blessing prepares a soldier for war better than a thousand military drills. Again, the name just says it itself. And the most first and base of all cards is Sarah Angel she's associated with. Can't get any more than that. This card's been around forever. Next card Sarah is associated with is, well, Sarah Ascendant, and quite good saying is, Faith in Sarah is its own reward. And another one of my favorite cards in Magic is, well, Sarah Avatar costs, well, a whopping seven, but it says equals power and toughness equal to the light, your life total. Sarah isn't dead. She lives on through me, the Avatar. Next card is, well, Sarah Avenger, for two for three, three. Those who endure the face of suffering, those of faith, Shines long in the evil days, they shall see salvation. Song of All, one of Sarah's cantos, 904. I guess there's a lot of cards Sarah's associated with because I'm a fan of white. And, well, this is one of my favorite cards in Homelands, but this one is showing not the Homeland symbol, is a Sarah's Avery. And Sarah, like Faraz, is long since dead. But remember, Daria, her spirit shall survive so long as the Homelands do. Tessir. And that's a really cool picture. And that's just all in all, a good card. Next card Sarah's associated with is, well, Sarah Beastery. And, well, there's the picture. Pretty self-explanatory as well. Another card that Sarah is associated with is from Homelands, and it says, Sarah Inquisitors. Well, you know how what they do. Next we have is Sarah Paladin. One light, one blight, one purpose. Vow of the Sarah Paladins. Again, there she is. There's the statue. Just everything just makes sense for this card. Next we have is Sarah Sphinx, and that's the time when all this is double mastercard, but when things were all mixed up in the time world, Sphinxes drink from the mystic mirrors of Sarah's realm where the keen eyes watch reflections of what is and what is yet to come. And the last and final card that Sarah is associated with is, well, Sarah's Zealot. Basically, the humans are useful in their way, but they must be commanded as the builder commands the stone. Be soft with them, and they will become soft. Reading Archangel. Now we're going to go over a few cards, there are about five of them, that Sarah is depicted in. So the first one we're going to go over is, well, the picture is Cliff Top Retreat. And basically that is her church. So the saying goes, the sunlight falls on the pristine on the temple at Epiter, softened by the remembered shadows of the angelic savior's wings. And that's, of course, when she re died, she rejuvenated all that land in that card. And another card that she's depicted in, other than the Song of All Canto, is Congregate. I actually like this card from the Urza series. And as you can see right there on the pedestal in the top left corner, that is Sarah looking at her angels. And another card that Sarah is depicted in is, well, Humble. There she is in that picture. And the saying is, it is not your place to rule Radiant. It may not even be mine, Sarah. So there's two powerful characters in this card. 
And the last and final card that she's depicted in is, well, Worship. Again, another one of my favorite cards in Magic. And it says, believe in the ideal, not the idol, Sarah. And there is the statue as well as Sarah in that picture with all the acolytes in the background. So now we're going to start off with a million cards that she was quoted or referred to if you want to look at those. Uh, again, there's a lot of information in the cards about what she says, but uh, information on her, there's not a lot. So let's just straight move on to Abby Gargoyles. And the saying is, though Sarah has not been seen for 20 years, her gargoyles still watch over our city and punish the guilty. Gilson, Abby Matron. Another quote that she's been associated with is from Homelands, of course, which the whole Faraz thing is Abby Matron. The matrons are kindly souls, but don't ask one for ale. Helena Dwarven Trader. Again, because she is an Abbey matron, it is actually associated with the Sarah thing. And another cool card that uh, Sarah is associated with is you're going to see a lot of Song of All cards. So this is Canto number two. It says, into the smothering dock, Sarah spoke a single word, hope. And there's the picture. And here is another card, Absolute Grace. In pursuit of Urza, the Frixian sent countless foul legions into Sarah's realm. Though beaten back, they left it tainted with uncleansable evil, which is totally true. But again, we're talking about Sarah's realm, so this is associated with Sarah herself. Next card we have is Aeson Highway, and the saying goes, Tread the roads of the righteousness, Mirat, lest you lose your way and be consumed. Barris, Sarah Inquisitor. So we got the Sarah Inquisitor uh, in, quoted in this card, which is again related to the whole Sarah thing. And again, another Homelands card. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, it has to do with Barris, the Sarah Inquisitor. And it says, The Beast Walkers do great service to Aeson. As humans or as beasts, their heart is yet to Sarah true. And the next card that Sarah is quoted in is, Well, Fallen Angel says, Why do you weep for the dead? I rejoice, for they have died for me. Fallen Angel to Sarah. Next we have is False Prophet. You live for Sarah's love. You will not die for it. Again, kind of coincides with the false prophet. It works out perfect for this kind of card. Then we have Hazdur the Abbot. Well, that's from Homelands too. Soon Sarah will return and choose the Abbot's successor. Else we are lost. Gilson, Abbey Matron. And you didn't see much of him uh, outside of Homelands. This is a legend. But other than that, nothing else special about this guy. Next, we have the infamous spell from Homeland, is Dry Spell. It says, My soul thirsts for Sarah, salvation as does my body for life's breath, Deshan's shade. Next, we have is Daughter of Autumn from Homeland. It says, Those who say that Sarah is dead have never met the Autumn Willow's daughters. They are kind, as generous as Sarah would wish us to be. Then we have Divine Presence from Invasion. I actually really like this card from the Invasion series. It says, Sarah's light isn't Easily extinguish. Rhea Dawnbringer. Next we have is Defiling Tears. And look at the picture. So it says, Sarah's living warriors looked on in horror. Where is Our Lady now? They cried. And I just, that picture with the saying just fits perfectly, I think. And the next card we have is Copper Leaf Angel. I love this prophecy card. I was really obsessed with this card when it first came out. Just anyway. So it says, when Sarah made angels, people called her a goddess. My angels are far superior to hers. That Lula, Keldon Overseer. Then we have Catastrophe from Urza Sega. It says, Radiant's eyes flash. Go then, the angels spat at Sarah, and leave this world to those who truly care. Next card Sarah is quoted in is, well, actually Disenchant from the Urza series. Not all Disenchants, but this one says, Let Phyrexia breed evil in the darkness. My holy light will reveal its taint. Sarah. Then we have the next card is Crystal Chimes, and basically it says, as Sarah was to learn, the peace and sanctity of her realm were as fragile as glass, which is totally true, and again with the whole storyline about Phyrexia. And next card we have is Messia Falcon. I don't know if you guys remember this card. Basically it says, the faith of Sarah is born on wings of hope. Gilson, Abbey, Matron. Then we finally have Holy Strength. The picture is actually has everything to do with Sarah in the picture, and there is actually no quote for this type of card. Next on our list is Healing Grace from actually Dominaria. It says, whatever faith you have in Sarah, she has more in you. Lyria, Dawnbringer. Then we have Isolated Chapel. And this land is actually from Dominaria, and they finally added the chapel. 
that's about it. Is that white or black? Next card we have is Resurrection. I chose the DCI one because it's actually a really cool card. It says, think of this new life not as a gift, but from angels, but as a command to fight for their cause once more. War blessing of Sarah. And then there's Invoke the Divine. It says, let go of all that harms you. Cast your burdens into the darkness and build for the faith of a house of light. Song of all, Canto 1008. Next from Urza's Destiny is Mask of Law and Grace. The Archangel Zealousy drove Sarah's light into every corner of their new home as if it, the Creator still commanded them. Next we have is Reliquary Monk. It says a thing of Sarah's realm exists only by the grace of her followers' faith. Then we have Solidarity from Urza's Destiny. It says their commitment to Sarah is as solid as any shield, which is totally true. Next we have is Metherian Soldier. It says, just as Sarah crafted angels of light and faith, Urza constructed an army of sorcery and power to resist the coming invasion. And there's a whole storyline behind this card and this soldier. Then we finally have Hope and Glory from the Urza series as well. It says, Sarah ruled by faith. I cannot afford that luxury. Radiant Archangel. Next card we have is actually Purify, one of my favorite cards from the Urza series. It says, Destroy all artifacts and champs for five mana, pretty expensive. But our mother, the sky was her hair, the sun, her face, she danced on the grass in the hills. Song of all, Canto 23. Then we have Healing Salve from Rosa Sega. It says, Zantia is recovering. The medicine is slow, but my magic would have killed her. Sarah to Urza. Next on the list is Humble. It says, It is not your place to rule, Radiant. It may not even be mine. Sarah. I guess Sarah. Rated head of fighting. Now this rare card next is Interpret Hero. It says we each have our own strengths, Radiant. Sarah said with a slight smile, If all of my people were like this one, who would carry your scrolls? Next is from Passism, another Urza card. It says fight, I cannot. I do not care if I live or die, so long as I can rest. Urza to Sarah. And the final and last card that everything is associated with Sarah at the time of this video, by the way, Sarah told them to guard Urza as he healed. Five years, they stood. Sanctum Custodians. Five years, that's crazy. So that's it. That's all the cards, all the information we have on Sarah at the time of this video. Hopefully in the future, they'll release more information. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys have a good day and a good evening.